Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, March 21st, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Augusta, Georgia. Xavier came across yet another phishing kit that takes advantage of Telegram in order to exfiltrate credentials. What's really kind of neat about these phishing kits is that they're all JavaScript, so all self-contained and don't really require any kind of hosting infrastructure. Maybe on some case you'll just see them in a compromised WordPress site, which I think is where Xavier found this particular phishing kit. The code that's actually used by this particular example is amazingly simple. It's a simple HTML form and whenever the user submits it, it will actually insert a message that the password was wrong, hopefully triggering the victim in supplying maybe other variations of their password that they may be using on different sites. And then it will send the message to Telegram. The disadvantage of this type of phishing kit is that all the credentials need to connect to Telegram have to be provided in the open as part of the JavaScript. And that's kind of where this particular attacker messed up in, well, uh, not initializing that token that's actually needed to connect. So as it is, as Xavier found this phishing kit, it's actually not functional. And security company Cofence is reporting that the Emotet botnet is back and it's jumping on the OneNote bandwagon. OneNote, of course, is the method de jour in order to bypass more recent macro protections that Microsoft implemented in Windows. Other than that, the emails are sort of standard fare. It's a zip file, in this case, a zipped OneNote file that will then download the Emotet DLL file. Well, if you are using Windows 11 uh, version 22H2, so the most recent version of Windows 11, and you would like to use the Unified Update Platform or UUP with your WIS server, then uh, you have to apply an update actually to get all the latest quality and security fixes. There are two MIME types that you need to add to your uh, WIS server, and uh, you can do this manually, and I'll link uh, to the post from Microsoft on how to do this, or you can apply the 2023-02 cumulative update to your Windows Server 2016 or later in order uh, to apply these uh, updates more automatic if you don't want to go in there and add the MIME types manually. And for anybody doing a malware analysis, a great post by Checkpoint Research about uh, new injector, as they call it, .NET injector. Uh, what this really is, is it's sort of the first stage in a malware infection that is downloaded by the user and then used to download additional malware, sometimes also referred to as a downloader. Uh, Checkpoint calls it dot run pex and it's advertised via malicious ads, but also sent via email and used uh, to install about a dozen or so different malware families. The reverse analysis is pretty good here by Checkpoint. There are a number of sort of tricks that this particular malware plays in order to evade detection and make reverse engineering more difficult. In some ways, this is sort of for the attacker, one of the most critical pieces of the malware chain. If they manage to get an injector uh, on your system, then it doesn't really matter as much if one of the future payloads will be detected because they can always try another one. And so far, some uh, pretty interesting findings here in how this particular injector is evading uh, analysis and also managing to make it, for example, past antivirus with some malicious uh, process explorer drivers and such in order uh, to hide from anti-malware. A couple of miscellaneous things and updates. Uh, first of all, as of today, Twitter no longer uses SMS for two-factor authentication if you have a free account with Twitter. So don't forget to change it over to proper two-factor authentication, like some kind of one-time password uh, application. And secondly, there is an update for OpenSSH. It fixes some security vulnerabilities, but uh, nothing really too outrageous here. So 
update as new packages become available for your platform. That's it for today and thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.